Welcome back everybody. Today's tutorial is gonna be quick but hopefully useful. We'll show you how to animate a circle that's perfect for indicating a subject in whatever it is you're creating. Let's get into it. We have a simple still image on the timeline and we want our outlaw subject to stand out from the crowd. What better to use than a good old circle? Click on the rectangle tool and hold the button for a bit. This allows for us to change to the ellipse tool. Let's try and draw a circle around the subject in question. Hold shift and drag the shape out for the circle to have even proportions. In effect controls under shape, uncheck fill and check the button for stroke. Now select a fill color. I'm going with red but choose whatever you think is best. We'll adjust the stroke size here. Turn it up a bit. Now under effects type clock and drag the clock wipe effect onto our shape layer. What's this? Something is wrong. The clock wipe effect fires from within the center of our screen. This is no problem. Head to window and hit essential graphics if it isn't open already. Now select the buttons for align center horizontally and vertically. The circle is now in the center and as you can see we have a wipe. To change the starting position for the clock wipe, select any of these directions. As you see, the wipe initiates on whichever starting point you set for it. I'll stick with the default 12 o'clock for now though. To move this effect from the center, all we have to do is select the shape layer, right click and hit nest. We are free to move the circle, including the effect. Very good. Let's place that where it belongs and let's get us a little special sauce going over here. Under effects, type turbulent and drag the turbulent displace effect onto our shape layer. In effect controls, set amount to 48, size to nine, complexity to 10, and create a keyframe for evolution on the first frame. Scrub toward the ending and set the evolution to something that looks good. I have it set to just under two rotations. Our circle now has some distortion to it. It blends pretty well when using other moving imagery instead of just a static circle. Remember to customize the settings according to what fits best for your project. I'm pretty sure y'all can figure it out. I have faith. Anyways, thanks for watching. More videos dropping in the coming days. Like and subscribe for more content and as always, catch you all on the next one.